Nerf Wars is something that kids in a lot of areas do, but Middletown police are sending out a warning about this uh, game or phenomenon, so they make sure the kids don't wind up hurt with it. Around this time of year, kids will get out, they'll run around, they'll shoot each other with Nerf guns, and they want to make sure that uh, kids are not acting too suspiciously because they say they get a lot of calls for suspicious people. They put out what they're calling a public service announcement over the weekend on their Facebook page, and it reads in part, quote, while it may be fun, we have to make sure the participants understand this kind of suspicious activity freaks people out. Well, if you're at home and you see somebody sneaking around your yard dressed all in dark clothing, the first thing that comes into your mind probably is not a Nerf war, but it's, it's a burglar or it's a thief or it's somebody that doesn't need to be here. And that's when we get called. And, and, and in fact, we just, just had a call recently. We were searching for an armed individual and came across some kids sitting in a car wearing the same descriptive clothing of this armed individual. And of course, the kid playing the Nerf Wars, like, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm just playing a game. <laughs> They're talking about people hiding out, hiding in bushes, running around wearing masks and running around with Nerf guns. They also want to make sure the kids aren't painting their Nerf guns dark colors. You want them bright so everybody knows exactly what you're carrying. Another warning from the PSA, Ohio has open carry, carry concealed. Participants need to understand not everyone is playing your game or knows about their game. So that is a serious warning to make sure that people stay safe, don't act too suspicious. You could wind up having an encounter with someone who doesn't know that you're playing the Nerf Wars game and pulls a real gun on you. Their message, have fun, but be smart. From Middletown, Andrew Setters, WLWT News 5.